previously on Blacksmith's Bootcamp. If I don't pack my midterm, it's gonna be because I died. Now this part of it, it could be better. <laughs> yes! It's gonna be the one still. I'm gonna do another one, get it this time. I'm gonna get it this time. This is the one. This is the one. Man, I feel like a big old liar. I'll say I'm gonna get it every day and I never get it. I talked to Cody and I said, he doesn't really want to pass. No, I do really want to pass. I thought you said no. No, I was, I meant like I was happy that I finished finally. Oh, That's why. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, why would you do that? Sorry, I was going to that one too. Why would you do that? <laughs> August 1st, start of a new week. 801 right now. We we'll leave at 830 on the mule farm today. Good, yeah, there he is. <laughs> but we're hanging in there <laughs> so far. Attempt a run. And here we are in week, what week is it for you? This is the beginning of five. I think so. And we're doing a mule. Might as well, you know. He said this is his personal mule, so said make sure I do a good job on it. So the pressure's coming from every direction. Yeah. You need to you need to lose everything to control your toe in that situation. Okay. Whether you drop your knife or not is completely irrelevant because you won't be able to pick it up with a broken arm, right? Yes, sir. So did you see how you let that once you let that toe go, this happens. Yeah. But if you can control this, if you can lock that up, you drop this. <laughs> so here, she's uh, relaxed, she's gonna let me come back up to here. I'll go a little bit lower. Just pull forward. Alright. So now I've made a big advance on her compared to what she was doing just a second ago. So she might kick on the other side. I'll give you guys the, the ritual. Middle of the rib cage. I lean on her. I want to be where she can't bite me. I want to be where she can't kick me. Ooh. I'm on hold. And I'll see if I can't advance and retreat. So advance to here, come back to there. We'll go a little further down. I'm pulling forward. Get her to break that fetlock forward if I can. If I get too far down the cannon bone, then I can be kicked in my hand pretty hard. So you're pretty serious about it. Mm -hmm. right, so I'll go back down, try to pull that up. Let her relax. Let her up here. Let her know this is going to be okay. That's it. <laughs> well, you know, someday you're gonna be on your own. We're not gonna be here. And you you get a customer like this, what are you gonna do, you know? Right, I'm gonna reach around her hawk. Hold her here. Boom. You gonna be horseshoes when you grow up? I don't know. If you back for 
Yeah. Hey, Chris, you want to look at this? Yeah. Yep, whenever you're ready. You gotta hand it to me, though. Oh, fine. Yeah, you hold it while I get it. Give me a shoe. Oh. I don't know how this works. Give me a nail, please. Oh, crap! You might want to not waste your time. So, I don't even have to put a nail in to see this, right? I still got three good ones behind it. Yeah. So, so you'll never pass for that. Yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's part of the thing you got to roll into the project. Yeah. Hey, I need to see Swiper. Yeah. Did you look at your medial ladder balance on this one again? Do you see anything before you before you start? What do you see? It's high lateral. No, man. This is weird. So high medial. Look at it on the ground now. Look at it on the ground. Do so, you see how the whole foot is doing this to you? So how would you get through that? Yeah. So now knowing that, what do you see in the air now? Don't put your thumb on it. And ignore your bulb. Your bulbs are here. Ignore yes. your bulbs. Okay, yeah. It's like yeah. a it's like a mile high in the medium. Yeah, that's right. You got you got so if you touch this again, you're gonna be done. Yes, sir. So you need to work on that. Yes. Sir. This guy's behaving a lot better than my first one. Cool. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. I don't want the damn rap on face. Hey doll. Hey. Don't do a run on a mule, folks. Already getting there. <laughs> I'm not even like moving that that much. <laughs> just really sweaty. Like things are hard. Like just let them be hard, and like it's okay to struggle, and it's okay to be upset, and like it's gonna ha it's gonna happen a lot. But like you can't just like say you know f it because you're irritated. It teaches you a lot. Heart stumping, but. Okay. So, if I want to open up the toe, see how it's soft? Yeah, it sounds soft. Now, when it gets solid, if I keep hitting it, that's where it's matched up. So, on top of the horn, I bend my left arm, push down, push in. That's how I straighten stuff, but that's how I straighten stuff. Those moves make sense? But if I'm doing, if you do this, you can do that all day and never do that much match. So if you got to do that to the other side, you get a hold here, shove in, hit there. And you'll feel your tongue jump. So whenever you hit that, put down a little bit. You want to have that gap occur right past center. Now hit just past center. See how your tongue's jumping in your hand? Feel that? And, and try to get your body over there. You don't want to put your don't put your head way over here. Just don't trust that that's round. Okay. Now hit me on and drop it. Here. There you go. Now don't drop your shoulder though. So this is the big secret I told you guys earlier. You can move your tongue to another spot. Right? It doesn't have to. You don't have to drop down. There you go. Good. Aaron is my new mule whisperer today. He's not just a cameraman. Saving Ryan's life. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going a little bit too wide, right there. So I'm going to fix it right now for the toe. Stop. Yeah, move that toe. Yes. That's the move right there. That's the million dollar move. You don't get to see that until week five. seeing some progress in yourself you know slow but sure on the trims that's where I struggle the most for sure but I mean it's certainly coming I mean from where I was start of this you know, four weeks ago I guess we're starting week five night and day so excited to see where it goes my wife is a big motivation I'm trying to facilitate a dream to have our own stable and 
stockyard of horses and I mean credit to her she she kind of put the notion in my head of like you could be a farrier like you could do this like you know what I mean and so she's the one that researched schools and she found the heart heartland and I mean she's my motivation to do it so yeah it's not hard to have uh, two kids. I'm gonna get choked up. <sighs> Sorry. That's okay. But yeah, no, it's uh, they are the motivation. I mean, that's what's keeping me going. Any tips for someone that's brand new off the street wanting to try this? No, not so far. I wish I could because I'm still so. All right. Don't take tips from me, man. I don't know what I'm doing as I drop my tool. Uh, knives are sharp. <laughs> as advertised, I mean, that's. It's been awesome. It's a lot. It's. It's a lot and intimidating. It, lot <laughs> but I, I trust the process I trust if I can get the work put in then I'll be on level with everybody we're here the first day of the Ozark Mule Days uh, we'll be here for two days we got about 20 of them lined up and it was pouring rain and it probably will be pouring rain later um, yeah so we're just staying in mud and, and we're making it happen it's a fun deal good luck lad all right, you got everybody ready? Go! Wife and kids should meet me here this evening, so they'll be here all day tomorrow with us too. You're awesome. Not bad, pretty happy about that. How's it going over here? Not very good. Not very good. Mule feet are so weird. Yeah. And my rasp is so full of stuff it's barely taking anything. All right, young man. I uh, another day, another day. Hello, I'm Chris Gregory from Heartland Horseshoe School. Uh, I started really making shoes in 1990, so here we are, well, I guess 30 plus years later, and uh, I'm still making shoes, not like I used to and not as fast, but uh, um, one thing that's happened is my son, Cody Gregory, who he's been a national champion in the WCB, he's, uh, he's been all over the world. Uh, he started shoeing, he actually shot his first horse by himself when he was eight. So even though he's 30 now, he's, I think he's been a journeyman more than half his life at 30 years old. So that young man knows more about shoeing and making shoes and forging than all I'll ever know, which is kind of cool. It's always neat for a dad to see his kid uh, uh, go past him. Um, he started making these tools. I just have a couple of them. This is his creaser. It runs faster than any steer wrestling horse that I've ever been on. It is magic. If you're used to the fuller in three passes, this will take you down to two. I don't know. I don't know what he figured out that some of the other guys have missed, but I tell you what, this thing is magic. And then his tongs—they grip. It's just, it's just, it's just incredible. The small differences he made to make a much better tool. Uh, his punches, his spritchels, everything that that boy turns his hands to is uh, is top-notch, first class, and the highest quality. So if you're looking for a good farrier tool, or if you're looking to give yourself an advantage in the forging. Don't look any further than Cody Gregory LLC. You can find them online, CodyGregoryLLC.com. Come up here and they shot for us and 
past two or three years. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I think you got, what, four or five different states, a couple countries. They're here going to school, so God bless you all, and thank you guys for coming, and we'll see you tomorrow. Guys, you can get your horse and your mule for about 40 bucks tomorrow. Thank you very much. And mule days, day two. It's not pouring rain today, so that's a plus. difference these students see when they're dealing with mules all of a sudden being way different their feet what's the main challenge there not taking the heel down leaving the angles and there's more cup to the foot so they can get them really short too fast they're just a, a different beast mules just have different feet but here's the easiest way to shape them i've ever found hold the toe drop down hit that outside corner Hit that outside corner. So now I have a staple more or less. Then I simply set my toe corner. And you have a mule shoe just like that. Can try to. Yes, sir. Can't go any worse than yesterday. <laughs> was yesterday pretty rough? Yeah. Yesterday was like my worst day here. It's supposed to get better, right? We're hoping to have horses soon because Hannah and I ride. Okay. Um, but we just. We're working our way up. <laughs> Well, I'll be handy to have a professional farrier at home. Exactly. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start all the junior finals. All right, sports fans, go! You don't want to look at it before I do? I'll look at it. Okay. Okay. What about this one? I'm pretty comped on this one. Okay. Uh, I'm, you know what I'm asking you? No, but. If somebody has soul pressure, it's uh, on that yes. failure. Yes. You want to look at it? Yes, I do. Okay. 100%. Let me know when you're ready. Yes, sir. So you, if you put it in the right spot, you're going to be golden. I can cut the clip fit cold and not have to burn again? Yeah. Okay. You got to get your shoe ready to go. Take your hammer, take your nails, get everything over here. This moment he's at right now is pretty critical. Yeah, I know. Good. <laughs> it makes me nervous for him. <laughs> I'll be sad if it doesn't, but hey, that's the first one I finished, so redemption from yesterday, that's for sure. 